Advocacy has been an integral part of SPA's role over the past 10 years. Through advocacy initiatives, SPA has been instrumental in shaping policy across all aspects of the self-managed super fund industry. I don't think there's a better example than the Cooper Review of the influence that SPA's had in advocacy. Jeremy Cooper was very sceptical about SMSFs and didn't believe the sector was viable in the beginning. By the end of the review, Jeremy Cooper had this to say. The vast majority of submissions supported the view that the SMSF sector, with a few exceptions, generally works well. This view is shared by the panel. The review process has generally confirmed that the SMSF sector is largely a successful and well-functioning part of the superannuation system. Since Cooper, SPA's advocacy role has continued unabated. Yes, SPA's membership cuts across many different types of professions, uh, which means that we are normally working on uh, uh, three or four submissions at the same time, covering a whole range of issues. Uh, so there's, there's certainly no shortage of issues that we're, uh, we're across at any one time. We're also a very active member of a number of the, uh, the government working groups. Uh, the National Tax Liaison Group uh, is a good example of where we are a very active member. Uh, certainly over the last few years we have contributed a significant number of technical questions to that group uh, that have been considered by that that forum uh, and some of those questions have led to technical amendments being made to the law uh, and also the ATO issuing further explanatory uh, material uh, which is a good thing. How do I think SPA makes a difference? Well they're just all over it. Uh, you know there's the, uh, the submissions they make to, to government reviews, uh, there's the, the, the professional development, their accreditation, uh, just the general advocacy. Uh, you know SPA is right in there. Uh, in pretty well everything that affects the, the sector. 